Hey everybody, this is Jen. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a quick update on the winter sewing jugs that I have um, out in the garden right now and where I'm at as far as my winter sewing schedule here in Zone 5B. So stay tuned because that's all right here on Garden Jen's Journey. wherever you are you're having a wonderful day it is gorgeous out here today um, in Michigan zone 5b I'm trying to stay outside as much as possible um, because I'm really sick and I need the vitamin D to help my immune system uh, this is day technically Day 11 of me being sick with the coronavirus. I was actually in the hospital last night because I couldn't breathe. Um, I now have the COVID pneumonia. Um, and uh, it's very hard to breathe. But I'm doing my best to try to get out here, get some fresh air, get some sunshine. And also show you guys what's going on in the garden. Because the garden doesn't stop just because I'm sick. So I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you what's going on in the garden. <clears throat> so my husband was able to move this bee balm that was over there. He took that fence down for me and moved the bee balm over here so it's out of the way. And we have tulips that are starting to come up. So this area is really starting to hop. Um, this is still just the beginning part of April, so it's going to take a while for everything to start coming to life. But we're getting there. It's so good to see all this greenery coming and uh, starting to take place of all the brown we got going on. So that's exciting. But yeah, right here um, is where I had a pellet fence surrounding my bee balm. <clears throat> And I want to get that out of the way to open this up. My garden was set up differently before. And so this, uh, having it the way it was before, it used to be a flower garden right here. And then we moved things around. <clears throat> so anyways, he took that down. And right here, we're going to be putting up another trellis system, like what's right here. Um, and uh, because I'm going to be growing a lot of beans. Um, pole beans. We're vegetarians and so beans are what we eat uh, uh, to replace the the meat and so I need a lot of vertical space to grow all the pole beans so yeah so we're getting more kettle pounds to go here. This is a new update today so it's kind of exciting that we're seeing this together. My daffodils are starting to open and yes they're planted very thickly when we first transplanted them years ago, uh, we had to hurry and get them in the ground from when we had moved them from another property. So later this year, after they go through their blooming cycle, I'm going to go ahead and thin them down, move them out a little bit. Um, but they're still, for being so densely planted here, they're doing great. The rhubarb's really starting to wake up, uh, looking really good. My irises are really starting to, to pop out of the ground, so I'm excited about that. And we'll see how this rose does. I had just planted a brand new rose right here a couple weeks ago. And this is the rose that I actually screwed my back up on last week. I was giving it some more water, and as I was bent over, I had a massive spasm in my back. Uh, so this is what I was working on when I hurt my back. <clears throat> so as we go over here towards uh, my jugs, you can see I have more of them out. I got them done, I want to say two days ago, uh, Sunday. Sunday is when I got them done. Um, 
I still have some more to get done, but I'm finally catching up so I don't feel so so stressed um, as far as the ones that need to be out this time of year because they start waking up in March and early April. So that's what these ones all are, are jugs of plants that grow this time of year. I still have uh, plenty of time to get out the other jugs like uh, for my tomatoes and peppers and other uh, herbs and flowers that like the warmer temperatures. Uh, but I'm excited. I have a lot of growth already. These jugs I started putting out uh, last, the mid to last part in March. And I'm going to show you what some of these jugs look like. See all that growth in there? Isn't that awesome? This is Tatsoi. Winter Keeper Beet. Safflower. Onions. Chard is just starting to wake up. This is a brand new green that I bought from Baker Creek this year. You'll have to, uh, let you see the condensation's getting in there. You'll have to look that up, but it's a really nice green. Very, very well uh, reviewed. Kale. And my Mitsuna mustard. So that is the winter sewing update we got going on right now. Quite a few things have started to grow in the jugs as well as around the rest of the garden. I hope it gave you some encouragement that the winter sewing process does indeed work. You just get to give it time. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. I thank you so much for being a part of my journey. I hope to see you next time. Until then, I hope that wherever you are, you are wonderfully blessed. Bye-bye, everybody.